All right, so I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube. Been watching a, a series just this morning by Heath Gagnon, uh, Gonzo on YouTube, and getting a lot of his own bait, minnows and leeches and crawlers and, and everything else. So we're gonna save a few bucks and get our own minnows today, but we're gonna start out by making a minnow trap. We're gonna start out with two two liter pot bottles, right? We're gonna cut one right around the top. We're gonna cut the other one right around the bottom. We're gonna fit them together and make a minnow trap. Let's get started. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut my two bottles. I've got the end of the one fit into the bottom of the other one. And I just took a couple of pieces of tape here just to temporarily hold the two together. Because what I'm gonna do now is heat up a, a nail and I'm just gonna puncture it around here and it's just gonna mend the two together is what I'm hoping anyway. And then I'll probably put a few more holes just so it fills up with water and sinks to the bottom because eventually I'm going to just put a string to it, put it out in the river and minnows will hopefully swim into this and they can't come out the bottom and when I want to collect them I'll take off the cap and collect my minnows. So I've got all my holes punched, removed the tape. I've got quite a few holes around there. And what I'm wishing I would have done now is this end here that I ended up cutting off. I wish I would have left a little longer so it would go in there deeper and make a little more surface area to uh, join the two pieces together. Because essentially what I'm trying to make is like a rivet. Uh, you know, just by melting the two together and join them together and uh, like I say if I would add a little more surface area uh, to bond the two it would have worked better so I think what I might do is I got some tip up line here maybe I'll just kind of try to weave it through there just so it'll you know hold together a little better because this might not last first time I drop it or something gets set on it might have a issue so I think that's what I'll try to do now All right, so we got our two joined together. Got that tip up line weaved in and out of the holes all the way around. And now it's nice and secure. So now I'm gonna take the cap off and bait it up. I just got some bread. I think I'm also gonna throw a few Cheerios in there. And we're gonna take it down to the river, set it out and check it in a little while. I also connected a, a line here to Attach, I can attach it to a rock or whatever out in the river or up on the bank. Just tie it up and it should fill with water, sink to the bottom and hopefully hold there pretty decent. So. They're, they're, gonna, they're gonna see this bait in here. They're gonna swim into this hole but they're not gonna be able to get back out. They're not gonna be able to find that hole to get yeah. back out. Whoa. See how it kind of funnels down into a small hole? Well, as you can see, I don't have to go very far to get my bait, just right off the back deck. So here's where the little fishing hole, this is the kid's little swimming hole here. It's only, oh, I don't know, a foot and a half deep, but for this river, it's, it's you know, deeper than most spots. So the, the minnows kind of pool up in here. We'll be out here swimming and playing in the water and there's just minnows picking at your Papa. at your uh, heels constantly so <laughs> this is gonna be a good spot to put it isn't it boys yeah all right you boys stay up here nobody touch the water <laughs> cool. I'm... I'm gonna get in the cool. trap, Look, see how it's filling up with water 
Um, it's gonna, it's gonna sink. What? Okay. Let's uh, put a couple rocks over top of this stick. What? Just like that. How about that? That'll work. Now watch. See it sinking? Yeah. It's gonna sink right down here, and it's gonna stay there. Watch it. Why don't you just give it all that? There's one coming into it already. Look. Look. We're going into it already. Look. Look. We got minnows in there already. Look at that. They can't wait to get in there. Look at that. Don't touch. Don't touch. This is going to be easy, isn't it? Guys. Look at this. There's a ton of minnows. Look at them all. We'll only catch a few. Well, we're going to. We, don't, we probably won't even keep these right now. We'll wait until I go out fishing when I need them. Look at this. Look at all the minnows. Look at them. Look at them, guys. Look at them. Look at them all. <laughs> okay, move so the camera can see, Hunter. Step over. Look at this. Well, it's been in there for maybe a minute at the most, and there's... There was uh, you know, a dozen, dozen and a half minnows swimming around there. Okay. And there's already one, two, what is there, five in there? Papa, you think 1,000 minnows by you? Yeah. 1,500. There's a billion of them in there. Yeah. But I see all those. No! Papa, does anyone doesn't like that? Yeah, that's awesome. A lot. That's cool. Oh, <laughs> we just went back. Here. I see it. Nipping at my legs right there. Yeah. 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 Check it out later. It should be full of minnows. So I've left my homemade minnow trap down in the river for about uh, 20 minutes or so, and I'm gonna go down here and see what's going on. How many minnows are in it? Oh my! I can see from here. There's just a ton of minnows in it. They're still going around it. Here, take a look. Yeah, let's check it out. Wow. Well, that's a lot of minnows right there. <laughs> wow. Won't be buying minnows anymore. They're nice size minnows too. A lot of smaller ones, some little bit bigger ones, but that worked. 
nice minnows. There's a dozen already. Four, five, seven, eight, ten. There's two dozen. There's uh those are nice minnows. Three, there's about uh, three and a half dozen in there. And these are kind of muddy looking. A lot of black, spotty. So there you have it. 10 cent deposit here in Michigan for a bottle. So the 20 cent uh, minnow trap. Give it a try.